It was late July 1971 when the phone rang with an invitation I couldn't resist. The summer doldrums had settled across central Texas, there was no work but still plenty of bills to pay, and the phone call was an offer of five weeks of work. The pay wouldn't be great, but it would be enough. More importantly, it appealed to my sense of adventure, and that was all it took. At the age of 22, I ran away from home and joined the circus. Happy news, everybody hear the happy news, cause tomorrow's gonna be a hip hooray, a once in a lifetime day. This was no Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey, but one of those smaller circuses which entertains in the smaller towns across America. After several weeks of crisscrossing the heartland of Indiana with the Carson and Barnes Three Ring Circus, we set up for three days of shows on the outskirts of Chicago. Everyone get out your Sunday shoes, cause tomorrow's gonna be a hip hooray. I don't even remember what the movie was, but on one of those outskirts of Chicago evenings, the band found a movie with such appeal that it became imperative that we see that movie. However, there was a severe impediment which had to be overcome, for the only showing of the movie which we could possibly attend started at 10.15 in the evening. Normally, the circus ended each of its evening shows at 10.15. What to do? The members of the band met with the band leader and an unsure plan was agreed upon. We decided to play everything faster, from the opening processional as the performers and animals entered the tent, all the way to the two-step march which closed each performance. The ringmaster proclaimed, let the show begin and the performers entered the tent with a spring in their step which reflected the lightning tempo of the music. Even the elephants had a sprightliness to their gait which surprised and delighted. The high wire act stepped rapidly, the tumblers somersaulted with a velocity which made the audience gasp in amazement, and the elephants trumpeted an octave higher than normal. At 10 o'clock, the final chord rang from the bandstand, and by 10.14, the band was entering the movie theater, jubilant at the success of their up-tempo performance. Such is the power of music. 